Today I'm going to show you 7 different things you can do to start taking better photos with your Canon 60D. Okay, so all the tips in this video I personally use myself. So over the last 2 years or so, these are the things I've learned to improve my photos with the Canon 60D. Okay, so tip number one is the rule of thirds. Now this is one that many of you may already know because it's something that's taught early on in photography. Now don't take the name rule of thirds too seriously because it is a rule that can easily be broken. You can take great photos by centering your subject or any other sort of angle, but when starting out with photography, the rule of thirds is such a great way to improve your photos. So a great example of this is say you take a photo of a flower. Now that's not a terrible photo just on its own, but now I'll take another photo of the flower where it intersects with the lines on the grid. Now looking at this photo afterwards, it looks like a much better photo. And that's the whole purpose of the rule of thirds because it's drawing the viewer's attention without making it too obvious. And like I said, this is a rule that I don't always follow. Sometimes you want to frame your photo differently, but something to keep in mind when shooting a photo to see if the rule of thirds would help improve that photo. Okay, so rule number two is to get true focus. So say you're doing portrait photography. This is a great example where true focus makes or breaks a photo. If you take a photo of your subject and their eyes aren't in focus, it's really gonna make your photo look amateur. So I suggest with the 60D especially, you shoot in manual focus rather than autofocus. So even if you're an experienced photographer who's already shooting in manual focus, you may not be getting true focus every time. So you'll wanna practice zooming in or magnifying on a subject's eye or whatever your subject is in general, getting true focus and zooming back out and snapping that photo. If you want a little bit more information on how to shoot with manual focus rather than autofocus, go ahead and click the card and check out the video I made on that. Okay, so the third thing I'd suggest is try a different angle. A different angle can really change up your photo, because say you just take a photo straight on from how you normally stand. This photo can be really good, but it's how most people take their photos in general. So if you want to really step up your photos and make them stand out from others, try getting a low angle and try to shoot up at your subject and get an interesting background or something different in your photo. Another way is to get at the exact same level as your subject and snap the photo from there. This adds depth to the background of your photo and just improves it overall. So really just try to take a bunch of different photos and take a photo from a new and unique perspective. Tip number four is use lighting. Now, I was never a fan of lighting. I didn't really like adding lights when taking photos, and I kind of just went out and shot at whatever time I wanted. But if you really want to improve your photography, shoot with the sun, try using golden hour, either, you know, wake up early in the morning or as the sun's setting. Try to use that to improve your photos and get a nice look to them. Or on the other side of it, add lights to your photos. So for example, here's a portrait of my girlfriend without any light added and here is the portrait when I added a light. As you can see, just a little bit of light can go a long way. This photo is so much better than the other one because it adds depth to her face, but in general, just adding a light can improve photos a lot. So, as daunting as it may be to add lighting to your photos, try to start adding lights because, honestly, lighting is so important and it's something I've hated for a long time, but it does really help. Tip number five is probably the most straightforward, it's to go out and buy an ND filter. It may not seem necessary to buy an ND filter, but if you shoot any sort of photos outside, it's nice to have an ND filter because say you buy an adjustable one like I did, you can just put it in front of your lens and snap that photo with the settings you originally wanted, and you don't have to adjust your settings to compensate for how bright it is outside. This is just an easy way to make sure you always have the correct exposure when shooting your photos. Now a really fun way to improve your photos with the 60D is to frame your photo. Now what I mean by this is you put something in front of your lens, like say a prism or a leaf or really anything to kind of frame your subject in the photo. The main reason I like doing this is because it draws your attention to the subject. And since it's drawing attention to your subject, it just really adds to the photo overall because you're gaining some color and depth at the same time. All right, and number seven is probably the one you wanna hear the least, but it's the one you need to hear, and that is to just practice. You just have to go out and take more photos. 
I know it sounds dumb, but just for me personally, I've improved over time by just taking my camera with me when I go somewhere like the beach or on a hike. You're not gonna get any better at photography if you're not out taking photos. So I really think what you should do is just take some of the tips I mentioned and try practicing them. This is gonna be the best way to improve your photography because you're gonna better understand your lenses, your camera, and you're gonna figure out your own shooting style. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope some of these tips can help you improve your own photography with the Canon 60D. And if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I post weekly videos focusing on filmmaking and photography, and I'll see you guys next week.